Hey guys, Baby Vic here, back with another video. Today we are looking at the noisy cricket. We're saying the noisy cricket. Is it all that? Is it all that? Is it is it all hype? Why is it taking off? Why is it so successful? Um, why have so many people got it? Why are people raving about it? What's so special? Um, that is what we're looking at today. What is it? It is a, a series mech mod. So we have two batteries in here in series, one up, one down and it's giving out 7.8 around that amount of voltage 8 volts something like that the power of two batteries combined um, so that is what's going on it's an incredibly powerful mod I should say at this point as well it is a mod for advanced users it uses a hybrid top cap and it's kicking out a lot of power with very little safety involved as well so know what you're doing uh, if you're interested in this mod if you're very new to vaping I do not recommend this mod but let's dive down I'll give you a really I know there's loads of reviews already for this everybody knows about this I'll give you a really quick look at it just so we know what we're talking about we'll come back up top and we'll say is it all that see you in a second Okay, guys, here we are up close and personal with the Noisy Cricket. This is the box. Noisy Cricket tells you some useful information on the back there. Uh, but basically, it is what it is. It just comes in this box. Um, <clears throat> little warning here uh, about your batteries. Um, obviously, that is the main concern and worry for this mod. You know, you've got to use the right batteries. Uh, you want a very high drain, 18650s, uh, done right. So this is a mod, we'll have a look around it, uh, completely um, unmarked, untouched all the way around here, no branding, nothing on this whole section, comes in a range of colours now as well, stainless steel, black, um, red and stuff like that, so check out a colour that you might like, underneath it says Jabo, you can see there's some uh, venting here as well, uh, but you don't need to get into there at all, that's all alright. On the top you have your hybrid 510 connection. Uh, so you unscrew this, like this, uh, and your battery would go in there, we'll come back to that. You get your atomizer and uh, you stick it on like this. You need a nice long protruding 510 like that. Um, so you don't have any issues there, so watch out for that. Uh, so you put that on like that and then you screw it back on to the mod. On the other side you have your switch. And again you unscrew this like this. Like that, and uh, you can see the mechanism here now. You literally, it says Wismec and Jabo on the switch there. Uh, you literally just push it and it moves that contact and connects with your battery and uh, that's how you do it so on this side the the side with the switch you want to go downward like that Let's screw that back on like that screw that on you want that nice and tight um, you can use whatever you like, like a coin or whatever in here, just to get that nice and tight. On the other side, you will notice that it has a little plus here. And so what that is saying, it is, it wants to be touching the positive side. So you go positive down on there, and you screw it on like this. Screw that on like that, and get that nice and tight as well. And it's making contact. Uh, the button, it's just got it's a very slight throw on it like that, um, so you know very sort of this is a bit clicky, but there's not too much feel to it. Um, it's very much a hair trigger, you know, tiny little push, and you're in business. Uh, you can hold it like that, you can hold it like that, completely up to you. Uh, but there is the mod all back together. We'll go back up top. Okay, guys, that was the Noisy Cricket up close. Let's get into it. Um, is it all that? Is it a great mod? It is a great mod. It is all that. Um, it's got a lot of things about it that are just truly brilliant, in my opinion. Um, the series thing is not new. Um, what happened with this mod is it was the first mass-produced, widely available series mod that sort of looked cool and was 
out there in the public eye. Um, I used, I've been, if you go back over a year in my videos, I was using a series mod quite a lot. I was using a mod called the Duke um, by a guy called Duke. And uh, series mods were often made by mod makers as a bit of fun and a certain style of vaping for a certain type of person. And they never really took off commercially. Um, but this was sort of the first one to break through. Um, the advantages of that extra power allow you to build a certain way. Uh, the ramp up is non-existent when you throw that much power at a coil. So you can put in really beefy, wide spanning coils in here and you can get that wick going on. Um, so it can be a tremendous vape if you're careful and you know what you're doing. So yeah, it is. It's a brilliant mod. It looks super cool, really cool looking mod. Uh, really good fun to vape with and nice to use. Um, is it the perfect mod? No, I don't think so. Um, it doesn't have a locking ring. It doesn't have a locking feature at all on the button, uh, which is not ideal. You know, this is perfect world stuff. Um, it's got a hybrid top cap, which is a tiny bit fiddly. Getting the batteries in and out is a tiny bit fiddly. You've got to unscrew this. Um, a perfect switch for me would be here, just on the side here. I know it's trickier to do like that, and I, I totally get why this is done the way it is. Um, but a, a button here would be fantastic. Um, so yeah, so it's got a few things that could be improved possibly. Definitely scope for a V2. I would like to see um, 24 mil version for 24 mil atties. And I would also like to see um, a parallel version for people like me that like uh, dual mechanical parallel 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 mods. Um, so, so yeah, so there, there is definitely scope there. Um, some people have reported that the button takes a lot of maintenance, cleaning, uh, and you need to keep an eye on it. It can get very sticky, very catchy. Um, totally understand that as well, because it's right next to where your juice is, so there's always that chance of a little bit of spillage getting in there, manking it up. Um, it's not super enforced, you know. It's not the most tactile. It's a sort of a hair trigger, but it's it's not the most tactile switch that switch you know it's, uh, feedback isn't great on it on, in your hand uh, also with it being on top you know it gives you this awkward stance you, a lot of people vape it like this like that or like this but it's not the natural feel that perhaps it could be with the firing um it's a great mod it's a great mod it looks great uh, i really enjoy using it um super small super light super cool but, and it gives you an amazing vape, it can give you an amazing vape. Uh, in the next video I'm going to show you my recommended build for this mod, or certainly a, mo uh, a build that I enjoy for this mod. Um, you've got to be really safe, you know, you don't want to be going below 0.5. Um, but yeah, that's great, it's a great mod, I really like it, it is all that, I can totally see why it's, been, why it's taken off in the way it has. I've been Vaping Vic, and I'll see you again soon.